South Korea's daily tally of new COVID-19 infections topped 400 for the first time in a few days on this Wednesday. As the number of cases remain stubbornly in the 3 to 400 range, the Prime Minister is asking the public to avoid discriminating against those who have re recovered from the virus. Kim do yeon with the details. A jump of more than 100 cases from the day before. On Wednesday, South Korea confirmed 469 new COVID-19 infections. Of them, 452 were locally transmitted. Although the capital region continues to account for the majority of cases, there have been clusters elsewhere as well. This includes a cluster at a public bathhouse in Gyeongsangnam-do province that has so far accounted for nearly 200 cases. Health authorities will discuss more prevention measures for the Chungcheongbuk-do and Gyeongsangnam-do provinces as they've reported clusters in workplaces and public bathhouses. By next week, we will inspect key locations to make sure the measure's potential success is reflected nationwide. So far, South Korea has a caseload of more than 90,000 that amounts to one in every 500 people in South Korea. And a study shows recovered patients are generally more afraid of becoming social outcasts than they are of the virus itself. With this in mind, the government is looking to make sure they're not mistreated. There have been cases where workplaces and schools demand the PCR tests from people who have been released from isolation due to infection, or they are forced to work from home. In addition, there have been cases of insurance companies refusing cover to people with a history of COVID-19 infection. Health authorities say that as it's globally accepted that cure people pose no threat to society, they should not be mistreated, and any cases of discrimination will be investigated. In addition, officials are offering psychological support for people who have recovered from COVID-19 as well as follow-up health checks. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.